Welcome to the World Telecommunication Development Conference, WTDC, here in Kigali, Rwanda, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Mr. John Omo, who is Secretary General of the African Telecommunication Union. John, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Thank now, you. I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about uh, your experience here as Secretary General of the uh, regional ICT body here. What can you say was Africa's experience at the first ever WTDC held in the continent after the formation of the telecommunication development sector? Uh, thank you very much. In the history of the sector, we have not had, as we did this year, the first ever youth summit. Uh, and so, uh, being a first, uh, a first one for, for a first uh, WTDC in Africa is a tremendous ex experience for this continent. And I think the youth have told us what they want. They want to be engaged. They want to be involved. They don't want to be receivers of, of what we tell them, but to be engaged in the day-to-day -day access issues for ICT and to use ICT for their development, to look for opportunities and so that for me has been the single most uh, outstanding experience uh, in this WTDC that the youth of the world have told us that they need to be involved at every level of decision making process for ICT development. There was the Generation Connect Youth Summit that was held here, the first one, uh, which was another venue just up the road here, and there they had a, a great deal of, of conversations, looking at the future. They, they said, we are the future. Uh, we don't just want to inherit it, we are the future. Uh, and they, they then uh, they came to uh, the WTDC to tell us exactly what, uh, what they wanted. But we've heard all sorts of other conversations here as well, and we've had uh, um, a, lot of, a great deal of uh, energy and uh, of enthusiasm for telecommunications. I wanted to ask you, what have been the major gains, do you think, for the continent, and what will be the, some of the outcomes that you hope to come from WTDC? 22. Thank you very much. Uh, let me start with the partner to, to connect, which is also a first for, for, for Africa, uh, WTDC in Africa. I think we've been able to galvanize the international community to see the development uh, needs of the continent through the partner to connect uh, pro program, and, and not just for Africa, but for other parts of the world. And the ability or the opportunity that has been created by you know, bringing organizations in a partnership uh, forum to work towards accessibility has been an, quite an experience. Now, for the African group, we, we, we are working towards certain uh, developments uh, at this conference that we'd like to see. Uh, from Coming from the youth uh, conference, uh, the youth summit, I think the issue of, of access, the issue of cyber security, the issue of you know keeping our, our youth, our kids, ourselves safe online came out very well. And so the opportunity to dialogue with the international community and agree to, to, to the fact that cybersecurity issues, safety online, uh, are primary uh, considerations to be given to our ICT development is something that we are really, really looking forward to see. We also have had certain proposals to this conference to do, to do, to do with access. And we do hope, and, and the conference is, is soon coming to an end, and, and I see that this tremendous, uh, you know, uh, partnerships uh, towards agreeing on that particular uh, resolution to do with, you know, connectivity, to do with uh, access to both uh, systems and services for the continent. And I really look forward to the conference adopting that particular resolution. And when all is said and done, when everything is finished and they're, they're, they're clearing up after us here, what, what do you hope will be the, 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 the results and what do you hope, would you hope for the future uh, in terms of the ICT sector here in the region and, and of course as a legacy of this conference? I think the opportunity to, to do that which we say and say that which we do is one that I'm really looking forward to. We've had uh, previous conferences where you come out with nice resolutions, nice decisions, nice declarations, which, you know, are, are basically good to have, but you can't audit whether, uh, you know, empirically whether they've been realized. And so the opportunity to dialogue with the rest of the world and see that going forward, we are able to audit, we are able to monitor and implement that which we have agreed in terms of objectives, in terms of set targets, is really something that I'm looking forward to because next the WTDC we should be able to say the commitments that were made under Partner to Connect 
the call by the youth, what have we been able to realize? Uh, there is sort of resolutions or decisions that we made. How have we galvanized, uh, you know, resources in order to implement those decisions? So, so, so the opportunity to come back in three years or in any WTDC and say, yes, this is what we had in Kigali in terms of our planning, and this is what we have achieved it would be tremendous for me. Well, John, a pleasure to have you in the studio again, as always, and I look forward to catching up with you again very soon indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure.